Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today I have 80 million appointments so we're just going to do a super quick and dirty look around. Um, we're out at the greenhouse. You can see the plants are all growing really pretty darn well in the tubs. Um, really no disappointments. I'm, I'm stoked. Look how much some of these things have grown. Um, as well as my vegetables. Now I did pick up a few, just a few potted vegetables like tomatoes, um, but you can see all my seed trays are really starting to sprout. My onions have grown quite a bit. And then the lettuces that I planted in these drip trays or sinks or whatever you want to call them are all sprouting as well. And I've started preparing for when I'm going to pot things. Now all of the vegetables I bought, I bought in container varieties. Um, so I can fill up these pots with good soil and then transplant them there. Um, I'll of course have to put more in this section here. Uh, my sweet potatoes are starting to grow roots and from those roots the greens will grow which will be those little slips that I'll plant out in my potato box um, but right now I can sort of picture what things are gonna look like as it progresses I did break down that tub which I am considering placing or not in the yard I'm not really sure I may actually use it to hold some more vegetables or to plant something I'm, not, I'm just not sure yet um, Pardon my lawn. We haven't done the spring maintenance on the lawnmower yet. Out here, I went and bravely picked up just a few flowers to fill these pots. It's still pretty early to plant flowers, but the monthly forecast for my area shows that we're not supposed to have any get down below freezing again. However, last night it did get to 38, so we'll have to see. Um, these are some of the succulents from last year that are looking awesome. Uh, I did the same thing as last year. I picked up some Dracenia spikes. I did the same thing as last year on these whisk whiskey uh, planters. I picked up some Dracenia spikes, which is this stuff. It'll get really tall and full. Some snapdragons and then some cascading petunias. All just super easy plants. And then some Gerbera daisies. Um, these are all succulents that I collected or was were gifted from friends in the Pacific Northwest when I was out there. Um, when I say collected, I don't mean I ripped them out of the wild. I mean I took them out of, like, walls where they were growing in the city. They're all coming back nice. The flowers on my Saracenias are coming in. In fact, over here, this is still looking, you know, pretty spring-like for a bog garden. Not a ton of growth, but again, flower spike. Flower spike right there in the middle, right at the bottom. And then there's a flower spike on one of these, too, which is awesome because last year none of them flowered. So, I feel pretty good that four of them are. Um, I did transplant those little tiny Saracenias that one of you guys sent to me into the bog here. And then my succulent garden is really coming alive. I did add this plant, which is a sedum, as well as these. But everything else in here is from last year. You can just really see the color starting to come through and this garden has been a real test of patience because I was pretty sure that this entire center section was dead. But when we look closer, if you look beneath the dead looking bits, you can see little tiny growth starting to peek through all over 
and that makes me super happy because these plants were all supposed to overwinter well but I was really afraid that they weren't but again you can see that things are just really starting to to come in now this this is a garden that is going to be a multi-year project um, I have to let all these things grow and fill in but eventually you won't see any of the substrate in here and it'll just be mounding pieces of succulent but I think that this is coming along out here over here at these tubs um, they're not done but I did run some air we'll talk more about that in a future video uh, mainly focusing on getting air done because I don't want mosquitoes um, so yeah all of this is going pretty well and you can see decent growth on these plants as well I also moved out some more of the mosaic plant into all of these it's only about 7 a.m. right now so it's not bright enough to really see into the tubs But the goal for over here, too, is to set up more flower planters in between each of the tubs um, that will fill in and then just give a more aesthetic appearance to this region. Um, I've started get to getting together the materials for the waterfall that I'm going to build here. I hope to pick up the last component today and then we'll do a video on that for you guys. Um, and the solar feature came that we're going to try in this tub so stay tuned for all of those updates and make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell on also I just wanted to show you guys that my orchids are still blooming such incredible and rewarding plants when it goes well now everything else that was in the windowsill I have moved outside or into the greenhouse except for these little sundews and pings which are really really doing awesome um, and these I may end up putting into a more permanent planter to have on the deck during the summer to help with mosquitoes and then in the house for the winter